first of all, congratulations on a stellar job on the film. Um, just a question for both of you. What role does a rom-com still have to play in today's society? Mm, heavy, heavy question, thanks. Uh, <laughs> remind us of love. In a world yeah. where all of this craziness is going on, I think we all need a reminder of like love, yeah. that you, we need to be love and we need to give love out. So a rom-com, especially this one, is coming at the right time. You yeah. know, there's a yeah. lot of brokenness. There's a lot of just crazy stuff in the world, you know. So seeing people fall in love and fight for love and go all the way for love on screen, hopefully that will, you know, um, speak and resonate with it, with the audience that are looking for love in a world that doesn't have that much to give, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think. Mm. Uh, and, and just to add to that, I think more, more importantly, uh, genres like rom-coms, well, I, I consider this a, a rom-drama. Mm. Um, uh, I think what they do very well is, is they remind us of the things we have in common more than the things that, that, that separate us. Um, because it's all about the human condition. It's about love. It's about mm. relationships. It's about struggle. It's about uh, challenges and how we face them. Uh, interpersonal, you know, with, mm. you know, uh, 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 often in challenges that are bigger than ourselves. Uh, and I think, you know, five years after the first film, that's, that's kind of where we pick up. Um, yeah. And um, uh, some challenges might seem insurmountable to, to, to some, but I think the beauty is, is seeing how people decide to, to push themselves, you know. Yeah, true. Amazing, amazing. Thank you. <clears throat> Richard, your character... <clears throat> Sorry, your character's interaction with the child actor was so believable. How did you equip yourself for that role? Um, well, I, I, I've got kids, you know, uh, so it wasn't mm -hmm. really that far. I've, I've got kids, and if you're an actor, you know that sometimes in your life you're not always going to be working. So I spend a lot of time with my kids uh, and their friends. I'm like, the soccer mom you know there's a soccer mom i'm the version yeah, of the like soccer, soccer dad. dad exactly yeah so pick them up That's take crazy. them here take them there so i don't and also that girl the the, the, the little girl that played uh, my daughter is amazing that mm -hmm. the first day we shot on the first day that's when i met her right but oh, wow. uh we but she was so quick to like get into character it was like we're gonna do this now i'm like okay you show me the way and she <laughs> took it away you know so so it, it helped because the, the actress wasn't nervous. She was really on her A game, you know. So, yeah, it's, 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 really, it's really just because I'm a dad, man. You know, I got two of my own bambinos, you know. Oh, that's so sweet. That's amazing. Louis, so seeing you on this film is something a lot of audiences are expecting to see. We are so used to you and fond of you being on telenovelas. What can you... Or rather, what can we expect from Loiso on the film? Um, I, I, I don't know what you'd expect from Loiso per se, but uh, if, I, if I put the, the, the character's hat on, I think, um, mm -hmm. yeah, he, he's an interesting, Tato, the character I play, he's a very interesting guy. Um, he, he, he's really a very genuine character. I think he, he, he goes... Uh, above and beyond, you know, the line of duty to to uh, help one of the characters with a, a legal issue, um, and you you never quite sure, you know, what he's after, if anything. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I admire that, and and I think that's something that that uh, I have fun playing is is playing those those uh, sort of human. Um, uh, subtleties you know where it's it's not some big action sequence it's it's the small moments when we choose to to do something better you know mm -hmm. um it's the details and, that matter exactly exactly and i think that's yeah. a little bit more interesting for audiences rather than than stuff that's just a world away um uh in industries that that we, we're so far away and removed from this this brings it home i think and what was, um, well, what would you say was the most challenging aspect of your character? Hmm. 
It's hard to answer this question without sounding like really arrogant. <laughs> I did not find like, nothing. I didn't find any challenges. <laughs> it was all, uh, no, no, no. Honest. I, Just be brutally honest. No, absolutely. Um, uh, uh, for a, any role, I find anyway, I'm, I'm always very nervous uh, um, uh, because I, I, I want to, you know, do it justice. I want to do it with integrity. Um, and so I have to do the work, you know, before I even step onto set um, and, and make sure I serve the story at the end of the day, because it's not about me. You know, if I'm drawing attention to myself, then it kind of defeats the purpose. Uh, but I, I think, you know, with the help of, of the whole team, with Tabang, um, uh, with people like Richard, someone I, I grew up watching. Uh, <laughs> shut up, shut up. Yeah, hey, now. Um, <laughs> see, uh, you know, we... we <laughs> it's, it was a really good support unit. Really good support unit. That's amazing. Um, so what did you guys both take away from this film? Richard, you can start. Well, love, you know, love is lovely, war is ugly. Uh, <laughs> so I took away, I mean, the experience, obviously, mm -hmm. act, acting in, in happiness is a, a happiness again. Uh, being a part of the team uh, uh, again was wonderful. But I think that at the end of the day, man, you got to really love yourself and take responsibility mm. for your actions, you know. Mm. That's, uh, that's if, if I took anything, that's the one thing I took. Yeah. Lisa, so your biggest take? Um, persistence uh, often, often beats any sort of luck or um, wishful thinking. Um, you, you often just have to do the work. Um, and I think people will find with, with this film is that for almost every character that they faced with that, that decision of, am I going to do the work? Uh, am I going to persist um, not knowing the outcome? Will I get the happiness ever after? Um, and, and that, I think, is the biggest takeaway from me, that often it's not really about the, the, the goal in mind. It's just to, to go through it, put one foot in front of the other. Um, and there will be an outcome eventually, one way or the other. I see. Thank you. Thank you so much, the both of you. Um, I watched the film. And it uh -huh. is amazing. It is amazing. Uh -huh. Can you say that louder, please? Just, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, okay. And my last question for Richard, since there's, there seems to be a bit more time, based on your role, what mm. would you advise people on co-parenting? Mm. Just lose the ego, man. Like, ego is like, mm. you know, if it's not survival, lose the ego. Uh, what's best for the child is always the best thing. And what's best for the child is peace in the household, you know? Mm. So if there's mm. peace in the household, the child feels like they're loved, you know, that's, that's the most important thing. So it's lose your ego, what's best for the child. That's it, you know? Because at the end of the day, it's what you guys are doing to build this person up to be the person that they're going to be now you don't want to build a person that has emotional scars and all of these things you know that's like tripping them before they even start walking you know so it's always mm -hmm. what's best for the child yeah okay well guys amazing thank you so much mr carter that was hey a that was thank a message you so to you. <laughs> okay. But thank you guys both so much. And I can't wait for the rest of South Africa and the world since yeah. it's been viewed on 190 countries to watch. Yeah, thank on you the so much. On the 10th of November. November yes. on, Netflix. on the 10th of 10th November. November. Yes. So we're clear. At spaces, we will definitely remind the people. Awesome. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. Thank you so thank much. You guys.